in the past few days, a new strain of influenza has been identified. It's uh, caused an outbreak primarily in Mexico, where a large number of cases have been identified, including cases of fatal illness. Several cases have also been identified in the United States. This is a new strain of influenza that we've not seen before, and it's referred to as a swine flu because it comes partly from an influenza virus that infects pigs, partly from an influenza virus that infect, infects birds, and partly from one that infects people. So we've taken to referring it to it as swine flu. And there's concern that any time there's a new strain of influenza introduced into the population that it may cause an outbreak of flu or serious disease. This is distinctly different from the normal flu in that it's a new strain of flu. It's a swine flu, so it's an animal variant of the virus and it's occurring at an unusual time of year. I think we're all familiar with influenza causing outbreaks at just about every year in the winter. So that doesn't necessarily mean this is an especially dangerous flu. It may turn out to be just run its course like other flu and not be specifically or, or very remarkable. On the other hand, it's distinctly unusual and this strain poses risk of causing a major flu outbreak. So far the cases described in the United States um, have been described as very characteristic of typical influenza. Respiratory symptoms, cough, sniffles, sniffles fever, uh, muscle aches, uh, some slight variation in that there may be gastrointestinal symptoms as well. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, especially in younger people. But otherwise it's behaving very similar to uh, the usual influenza. There's an exception though in Mexico there have been a number of very severe cases where people have developed respiratory illness severe enough that has actually caused deaths. It remains to be seen whether that uh, uh, indicates a particularly dangerous virus or uh, is just an unfortunate consequence. Uh, the virus is susceptible to antiviral medications. So the primary treatment, first of all, is what your mother told you. Rest, uh, chicken soup, not going to work, plenty of fluids, and so far most of the cases in the United States have recovered without any particular antiviral therapy. For those who are especially ill or for those who seek medical attention and have a test that confirms they've been infected with the virus, there's an influenza, uh, anti-influenza virus medications, oseltamivir, which goes by the trade name Tamiflu, or Xanamivir, which goes by the trade name Relenza, which when taken early, meaning the first 24 to 48 hours after the onset of symptoms, can decrease the duration of illness. Right now, we're recommending that if people develop an influenza-like illness, meaning the symptoms I described, respiratory symptoms, fever, muscle aches, and they've been either recently returned from Mexico or been in contact with someone who's been exposed to one of these viruses, they should seek medical attention for appropriate testing and uh, to see whether they've been infected with this virus. Well, with annual influenza, one of the main preventative measures is the influenza vaccine. Unfortunately, there's no vaccine against the swine flu virus, not yet anyway. Uh, there may be one within uh, you know, six to nine months or so. For now, standard preventative measures, frequent hand washing or hand sanitizer with alcohol gel, uh, avoidance of contact with people with respiratory illnesses, uh, good general hygienic measures such as plenty of sleep, good nutrition, exercise, again, all those things your mother told you to do, those seem to be most effective. Well, Mayo Clinic follows the guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and the Minnesota Department of Health and in, uh, in the relevant departments of health that are, are Jacksonville and Scottsdale and other facilities. This is really a public health issue primarily, and we need to follow guidance from those authorities. As far as in Mayo Clinic itself, we follow that guidance for appropriate diagnostic testing, appropriate therapy, appropriate isolation to prevent transmission of infection within our facilities. I think it's important for all of us to be aware that this influenza virus is circulating. It's certainly not anything to panic about, but it's something to be keep up on the latest recommendations regarding whether any travel advisories are issued, to be aware that if we become ill, to uh, not go to work, not go to school, we can do our best to, to spare our colleagues from uh, acquiring illness if we don't do that. 
It's important to know that if someone acquires influenza, they can continue shedding the virus and transmitting the illness for anywhere up to seven days or even up to 10 days for small children. Uh, so it's important for those people with influenza to avoid contact with others during that time range.